So Mr. Robinson was always about others. It's a good call and the right call. So yes, I do feel like I, I'm trying to carry on his legacy. I don't want anybody to forget his legacy. It's an effort to honor Jimmy Robinson III, who passed away late in 2020 by raising money to help give every basketball referee in the state of Minnesota a JR3 patch. Mr. Mr. Robinson um, was an advocate for high school basketball. Period. Robinson broke through as the first black ref ever at the Minnesota State Basketball Tourney in the early 1970s. And he, he wanted to promote uh, other African American uh, officials to, to work hard and to work at the, at the highest level of the high school. He later became the coordinator of officials in the state, and the Minnesota High School League said in part they embraced this opportunity to honor Jimmy Robinson in this way. He loved high school basketball in the state of Minnesota, and he was committed to helping other people. Andy Mack, CARE 11 Sports. One of the great opportunities we have in this game is to meet very special people through the years. It makes coming to these tournaments even more special. One of them was uh, our buddy Jimmy Robinson, who was a longtime official in the state. Uh, there's uh, some of the accolades, some of the things Jimmy did on his resume. It was so sad to learn the day that I was told by uh, friends, including Frank White and others, that Jimmy had passed away. Leah, he meant a lot to a lot of us. We had conversations every tournament. We talked about officiating rules. And he was just such a pleasant, wonderful person dedicated to doing all the right things. And I know he was instrumental in your life as well. Yeah, his presence was always known at state tournaments. And when you walked in, for me, it was the first person I would see sitting courtside was Jimmy. And so really different to walk in this year and not have him here. And he is greatly missed. He's just dedicated. He's just was, he stood for the guy. right things. And uh, so in honor of him, you'll see on the officials' shirts on their sleeves, they have that uh, patch honoring Jimmy at this year's state tournament. I just want to salute the high school league. I just think that is awesome what they did for him. So just a great guy. I get a little emotional talking about yeah. him. But he was, uh, he was just always an enjoyable. Gentlemen, before we introduce the starting lineups tonight, please join us in a moment of silence in honor of Jim Robinson, who passed away unexpectedly on November 30th. Jim was a football and basketball official. He worked basketball games throughout the state, making lasting impressions upon the minds of coaches and players. He officiated in seven state boys basketball tournaments and was the first African-American to work the annual event. He also refereed 16 years in the Big Ten, and for the past 30 years, he served as the Minnesota State High School League Coordinator of Basketball Officials, mentoring and training scores of officials from every corner of the state. We are forever grateful to Jim Robinson and his decades of humble service to the league and development of its officiating programs. Jim leaves behind a trail of excellence that invites us all to follow. Please join us for a moment of silence in honor of Jim. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting lineups for this Class 4A championship game between the champions of Section 4 with a record of 18 and 5, the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders, and the champions of Section 6 with a record of 18 and 2, the Wyzetta Trojans. Now, let's meet the starters for Creighton Durham Hall. A six foot four senior forward, number three, Daniel Montemano. Six foot three senior guard, number four, Jack Tower. Six foot three junior guard, number five, Trey Holloman. Five foot ten senior guard, number ten, Marcelio Mendez. And six foot four senior forward, number 21, Jack Plum. The assistant coaches are Tony Yazbek and Joe Hutchins, head coach Jerry Klein. Now let's meet the starters for Wyzetta. Six foot one senior guard, number five, Eddie Bettega. Five foot 11 junior guard, number 15, Drew Berklin. Six foot one senior guard, number 22, Cody Williams. Six foot six junior guard, number 23, Camden Heidi. And
and six foot nine junior forward number 32, Carter Bierke. The assistant coaches are Ryan Freeberg and Tim McKee. Head coach Brian Snettler. Here are the officials assigned for tonight's game. Umpire number one, Craig Laird. Referee, Ricky Spencer. And umpire number two, Lamar Sullivan. Historic night here at uh, Target Center. This year they put out the JR3 patch that you just saw designed by the Minnesota Alliance of Officials of Color in honor of Jimmy and his legacy of service and his commitment to mentor and train officials. Just an awesome guy to know. The Alliance was a dream of Jim's and, uh, and his advocacy for fairness and equality inspired this group of officials led by Taryn Buford and Lamar Sullivan. So they formed this organization. And they recruited, they mentored, they trained officials in 2019. It's a dream come true for Jim. But now there will finally be an all African American crew, as you see, of officials that are working this game tonight. And believe it or not, this is the first time that three African American officials have worked a game together. It's a historic night here. It's occurring 50 years following Jim's tournament debut in 1971. 